Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster. Welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Well, last time we successfully got the Stasis Rune, or Stasis Rune, and now we've made it up here to an area. I'll show you where we are on the map here. I've, we've made it to an area here on the Great Plateau that's actually cold, and Link is starting to get cold if you, uh, he starts to get cold if you leave this area, and, if, and if, if he gets a little bit too cold, he actually starts losing health. There is a way to combat this, however, and all you need to do is light a torch. And as long as Link is carrying something that is fire-based, he actually, it actually normalizes his body temperature and allows him to fight off the cold weather. Now, unfortunately, if you put it away, you start to, uh, you'll start to shiver again. And I don't have anything that has cold protection yet. So there is a chest right there, but I can't quite get it just yet. Now what I want to do is I want to start making my way up towards the next and final uh, temple. So that I can get my final, get the final one and then get the paraglider. And then from there I'll, I won't, well, we'll get to, we'll get to that point a little bit later. But also, okay, another chest right there, but I don't want anything to do with that yet. I will come back to those chests, don't worry. But again, if I put if I put it away right now, if I put the torch away right now, I will get cold and start to lose health, and that's just a bad thing. So what I want to do is I actually want to make my way up to the top of this mountain, this very mountain right here. And it's a very simple path, and just keep walking. And you want to make sure that you're walking and not accidentally climbing. Because if you accidentally... Uh, wait, is this the one? Oh no, it's that one right there. Wait. Wait, is this one over here? Oh, it's this one over here. Okay. So, oh yeah, I want to go up to this one over here. That's right. That's right. Because that's one of the highest peaks of the area. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I know what I'm doing now. So yeah, you want to go up this way. So that, we make it up here. And I believe if we go up here... And if you look at the map, it's basically the, the midpoint of the mount, of Mount Hylia. And the highest point in Mount Hylia. If you go up there, I do believe there is something up there that we can get, which will help. And I want to do that. So, from there. Yeah, there is so much that I'm glossing over right now. I'm just doing the main part of this area. And then I'm going to go through and go back and get all the little, little intricacies and show you how to get all those things. And just how much stuff there is to do in just this opening area. Aha! It's the old man! What are you doing here? <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> breathtaking view. Gotcha. <sighs> Proper clothing? What are you talking about? <laughs> A warm doublet? Ah, and now we get the warm doublet, which means... <sighs> yes. I will. So notice how Link is cold and his body temperature isn't doing so good, right? And you can see in the little area there underneath the stamina wheel, you can see Link's temperature and it's cold. But if you equip the warm doublet, haha! -ha! Yeah, now he's good to go and he has level one cold resistance, which means that he can withstand the cold in this area. There we go. And if you also look down there, you can see the shrine over there. Yeah, and that's where we want to go. Oh, there's also uh, some rocks over there. Uh, we'll get to that in a little bit. But what I want to do for right now, and I don't... Uh, is there something around here? Oh yeah, there's a flint. Nice. Yeah, so always look for little landmarks and see if there's little things. Okay, nothing there. And, okay. Well, see, there's those body rocks there right now. Well, okay. Yeah, let's get my spear back out. Okay. So what I want to do now is make my way back and pick up that chest that we that we passed up earlier. Now there was a little, there was a circular thing of rocks. Looks like, ah, eh, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to do this now. Okay. So you see how there's that circular area of rocks there? Well, there appears to be one missing. Well, if you pick up this rock and bring it over here and complete the circle. Ha! Yeah. Yep. 
is another Korok seed, and you'll see those quite often uh, around the world. If you ever see that, just complete the circle, and you'll um, just complete the circle, and you'll get a Korok seed. That's very important. Uh, okay, so let's go back the way we came now, because I do want to go pick up that chest, and then from there we'll go and get that last shrine. I will never pack up the opportunity to get treasure. Just. Uh, if I go down there, I'll die. That isn't gonna work. Okay. I'm gonna go back the way I came. There's so much exploration in this game. It's just crazy. And it's, it's worth it, even for just a little chest, because even early on in the game. Oh, I can't. Walk. That's right, I can't, because I was running out of stamina. I was like, well, I can't go. Oh, yeah. Why can't I run? I was like, oh, yeah, because I'm out of stamina. Uh, okay, I think it's over here. And again, stamina is very important in this game. We will, we will go, we will go over that eventually. Okay, is this where that chest is? Man, it's, oh, it's a little further away than I thought. Hey, sorry, BCS Universe, I didn't realize it was that far away. But you're seeing that I can now survive the cold without a problem. Where's that chest? And again, what I'll probably do is after I get this chest, I'll make my way back to where the old man was off screen. So you don't have to see me go all the way back there. Ah, there it is. Okay. Yeah, let's see if I can see. There's that chest right over there. Let's see if... Actually, let's see if I can pig this guy. I hit him in the head. Get him. See ya. That'll work. And if we open this chest, we get... An amber? That's it? Ugh. Yeah, it was totally worth it. Now, is that moblin gonna come back after us? Yeah, he is. Well, we want to finish him off. Yeah, we do. I'm aware my spear is badly damaged. Go. Switch over to. Uh, what do I want to use? Yeah, I'll use my claim one. Ooh, a spiked boko club. That actually could be useful. And a spiked boko shield. Yeah. Yeah, so I stole his stuff, so now he's mad at me. But now I'm going to use my traveling claymore to finish this guy off. Got him. Ooh, bo boko blend guts. That'll be important for later on. Can I get down these trees with this sword? I don't know if I can. Oh yeah, I can. Cool. Not as effective as an, as an axe, but it works. Uh, actually, I bet I can destroy these enemies too. See all those enemies down there? Watch this. You're like, huh? What's going on? Down. Now they're like, what the hell? Well, let's do that again. Actually, hold on, I got a better idea. Can I lift this? No, I can't. Come on, Link. Come on, Link. You can do it, buddy. Put your back into it. <laughs> okay, we'll do it this way. See how, much, see, how much, see how far I launched this. There we go. Okay, another thing you can do is watch this. Oh, what? Did I, was I not able to blow that up? Oh, I thought I could blow that up. Okay, try one more thing to try and knock these enemies down. No, that really didn't work. Huh. Okay, you know what? Screw this. Uh, let's see. Switch over to bomb arrows. There we go. <laughs> That's what I wanted to do. <laughs> That's. Yeah, I make things. I made. I made a lot of enemies go bye bye. But, okay. Uh, I'm gonna make my. What I'm gonna do is go pick up the scraps from the enemy down there because I can, and then I will make my way back to the old man, and then we'll continue on to the shrine. Okay. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, 
And uh, so you can see I'm back here in this area where I completed the circle there. I'm just going to slide down with Link here. Whee! There we go. And make my way over to the final shrine of the Great Plateau. Then we'll go from there. And like I said, I am, I am um, not even close to done with all the things that I can do on the Great Plateau. But like I said, I want to get all the main things done first. And then once I'm done with that, then I'll clear out the Great Plateau in, future epi in a future episode or two before moving on to the rest of the world map. Like I said, this is going to be an extremely long Let's Play series. You know, probably about 100, 110 episodes. So I think it'll be a great project for the summer for both of us. Uh, for both you as the viewer and me as the elf here. Okay, so you, ooh, now they're starting to roll some boulders at me because they're like, hmm, Let's see if I can sneak out. Um, I doubt it, but now they found me. All right, let's go. Oh, they're even trying to throw stuff at me. There we go. Did you get him? Oh, that was... Oh, well, that was much easier than I thought it was going to be. Oh, we get a seared steak. Very nice. And there's more Boko Clubs if you want them. There's stuff to make things blow up. But don't worry about that. I'm not a huge fan, like I mentioned, of the two-handed weapons. They just don't really do it for me. Oh, yeah, there was some water there. We'll go over that here in a little bit. We've made it here to the Kenamut Shrine. So let's activate it. First thing you always do with the shrine is we Apple Pay. And it opens for us. And then we head inside. And again, once I'm done with all the shrines in this, I will skip... I'll skip doing all this in the future. But again, for this opening area, it's just much easier to do it this way, I think. The stamina reel runs out while climbing, you'll lose your grip and fall. Well, that's no good. Here we are. And this is Kenamut, in the name of the goddess Hylia. He offers this trial for us. Okay, terrific. Okay, let's see here. Now, first thing we want to do is Apple Pay and get more water on our cell phone. And see if we get what we get here. I wonder if it'll be a... Oh, it is a rune. Okay, terrific. Let's see what we get here. Well, it said, it said something about a Cryonis trial or something like that. Cryonis trial. And now we can create a pillar of ice from a surface of water. That's pretty cool. And it appears we've got all the runes. There's just one left. Well, how exactly are we going to do that? Well, you see how we got some water here? Now watch this. With the rune, yeah, just like it says, we can create a pillar of water. Just like that, we climb up it. Oh, dang it. Uh, the other thing is, if you pull it out, you can break it just like that. So you want to get it kind of close. And the game, if, it'll flash like that if you can't. If you can't uh, place one there or if it's too close. And there you go. See how that works? Uh-oh. Now, we got this one here. So I believe now, can we put something underneath it? Yeah. See how it puts that underneath it for us? Because you can sort of get it, you can manipulate it so that it partially goes through a gate. That's pretty cool. Uh-oh. An enemy. There you go. Yeah, and if the, the Traveler's Claymore is badly damaged, I don't care. Because if I get rid of, if, if this weapon goes away, I'm not too concerned about it. Okay, let's see what we got here. Well, we don't have a pool of water there, so what I might have to do is... Let's see, I bet... Can I tip the scale? I bet that's what I gotta do, is tip the scale. 
Yeah, see? Created myself a little pillar, just like that. And head up. See how that works? I'm so smart. Okay, now where is the chests? Oh, there's a chest right there. Probably going to want to get to that chest. Also, you can create multiple... You can create multiple blocks, so you don't need to just have one at a time, which is nice. Next button, jump up, and we'll... Oh, ugh. I meant to jump this one. Jump! Good job, Link. We open this one we get. Traveler Spear. No, oh, inventory is full. Okay. Uh, let's see, what can I get rid of? I do have that spiked vocal club, all this stuff. Yeah, see, I kind of almost want everything here. Okay, here's what I'll do. Oh, it broke. Damn it. Oh, well. Like I said, not a big fan of the two-handed weapon, so it's not that big of a deal to me. Okay. Uh, is that all the treasure in here? Yep. Okay, so it's just the one treasure chest. So perfect. So now all I need to do is make my way to the end of the trial. And we should be good to go. And, oh, well, that was much easier than I thought I was going to be. Terrific. And my health bar will be filled up. Excellent. Yes, my resourcefulness in overcoming this trial speaks to the promise of a hero. Fantastic. Oh, I skipped it. Oops. Basically says you get a spirit orb, just like you've seen before. My fault. Sorry. And may the goddess smile upon you. Thank you. Let me guess, you're going to disappear, aren't you? Yep. Bye-bye, monk. Weapons have nose for are perfect for throwing. Oh, yeah, I guess that's true. So if you want to throw things away, then you can certainly do that. What? Hey, it's the old man. What's up, old man? Oh, terrific. Yes. Time? Time for what? Okay. Yes. Hmm. Imagine an X on your map with the four shrines as the endpoints. Find the spot where those lines intersect. You shall wait for us there. Oh. Okay. What? Hey! Where'd he go? Who are you? Man. This is crazy. Uh... Yeah, I have time to do this, but there's but before doing that, there's one more thing I want to do. Now, notice how we have this water here. Now, if you go in it, yeah, you're going to start to take health because that water is so cold. However, now with our new power, we can create ourselves a little bridge. And jump. And then once we get close... Oops. We can use the mag... Uh, hold on. Oh, I was like, how can I do this? Oh, yeah. I can raise the chest. There we go. Oops, no, don't. There you go. Good job, Link. And we get an opal. Cool. Okay. Now, remember what the old man said at the spot where the four shrines intersect? Well, judging the map, it'd be right about here. And what do we have over here? It's right around this area, I think. Would be about where we need to go. So the fastest way to get there is probably going to be to go to the Shrine of Resurrection. So let's do that. All right. Yeah, like I said, this, today's episode is going to be a little bit longer, but we're going to wrap up things here. And then we'll go from there. And then the next time I'll just explore and take care of all the things on the rest of the plateau, which I'll do. And we'll start to have some fun with all the things we can do in the, in the world map here. Okay. Now we're back here in the Shrine of Resurrection. 
Like I said, this is probably going to be the fastest way to do it. I just hope I don't die. Okay. There we go. Okay. Very good. Let's get out of here. Um, and in the meantime, I want to take down some of these trees. Because again, you want to collect a bunch of wood. And it, trust me, it will all make sense a little bit later. And you, and you can find plenty of axes and stuff like that. Ooh, a restless cricket. Oh, nice. Cool. That'll work. Yeah, and there's all like all kinds of little bugs and stuff you can find. As we go. Oh. oh I got another restless cricket, which I can use. He's Notice how he says you can use it to make elixirs. We'll go over all of that a little bit later. And a baked apple if you want that. That respawned. Cool. And if you want to start a fire, you can do that. And I believe the four points that intersect are going to be right over there. Ooh, what's that over there? Oops. Uh, let's see. What is that over there? Oh, it looks like a sword. Yeah, but it looks rusted. It's actually not anything useful, so I wouldn't necessarily go get it. Okay. I believe the spot that I want to go. Ah, the Temple of Time. Oh, shoot. Uh, let's see. Let's get out Traveler's Spear. Yep. Oh, dang it. Get out of there. Get out of there, Link. I say that phrase a lot, too. Get out of there, Link. And we get an ancient... Sp oh, an ancient spring. That must be new. Well, no. I've already gotten those. But you can search around these areas. Okay, well, let's go see if we can see what's going on in the Temple of Time. And if it can actually transport us in time, like in the last game. First, I gotta find the entrance. Okay, let's see what we got here. I'm pretty sure this is where I need to go. Oh. Aha! Die. Oh, bastard. Take, always take the monster parts. Okay. Whoa! What's that? the heck is that over there? Take a look at this thing here. Pray. Uh, do I want to do this now? You know what? I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait on this. Well, now nah, I'll do it now. I'll do it now. Okay. What do we have here? Right? Oh, I like great power. I have, in fact, claimed four spirit orbs. Ah, and every time you claim four spirit orbs, you can go to one of the, you can go to this statue, and it will either give you another heart container or a stamina vessel. Now, you may be very tempted to take the heart container, but don't. Take the stamina vessel. Stamina is way more important than health in this game. Trust me. So I'm going to take a stamina wheel. Yes. Ah. And now I can perform more actions before getting tired. Yes, and that is crucial because... Bring peace to Hyrule. What the? Oh, hey, hey! It's the old man up there. What the? Let me get up there. How the heck am I going to do that? Well, I will show you. I know there's a spot where we can climb. So, see, there's a ladder right there. No problems there. And we can jump. See, and Link can climb ladders, no problems. See how quickly he gets up there? Just like that. Now we make our way up here. This we're actually going to have to climb. Okay, I believe it's over here. Ah, there he is. There's the old man. Like I said, today's going to be a longer episode, but that's fine. We're getting, getting everything wrapped. Ooh, a chest! <laughs> well done there, young one. Now then, the time has come to show you who I truly am. 
I was King Rome Bosphoramus Hyrule. I was the last leader of Hyrule. A kingdom which no longer exists. <sighs> The Great Calamity was merciless. It devastated everything in its path, lo, a century ago. It was then that my life was taken away from me. And since that time, here I have remained in spirit form. I did not think it wise to overwhelm you while your memory was still fragile. So rather than that, I thought it best to assume a temporary form. Forgive me. I think you are now ready. Ready to hear what happened 100 years ago. To know Calamity Ganon's true form, one must know the story from an age long past. The Demon King was born into this kingdom, but his transformation into malice created the horror you see now. Stories of Ganon were passed from generation to generation in the form of legends and fairy tales. But there was also a prophecy. The signs of a resurrection of Calamity Ganon are clear, and the power to oppose it lies dormant beneath the ground. We decided to heed the prophecy and began excavating large areas of land. It wasn't long before we discovered several ancient relics made by the hands of our distant ancestors. These relics, the Divine Beasts, were giant machines piloted by warriors. We also found the Guardians, an army of mechanical soldiers who fought autonomously. This coincided with ancient legends oft repeated throughout our land. We also learned of a princess with a sacred power and her appointed knight chosen by the sword that seals the darkness. It was they who sealed Ganon away using the power of these ancient relics. One hundred years ago, there was a princess set to inherit a sacred power and a skilled knight at her side. It was clear that we must follow our ancestors' path. We selected four skilled individuals from across Hyrule and tasked them with the duty of piloting the Divine Beasts. With the Princess as their commander, we dubbed these pilots Champions, a name that would solidify their unique bond. The Princess, her appointed knight, and the rest of the champions were on the brink of sealing away Ganon. But nay. Ganon was cunning, and he responded with a plan beyond our imagining. from deep below Hyrule Castle, seized control of the Guardians and the Divine Beasts, and turned them against us. The Champions lost their lives, those residing in the castle as well. The appointed knight gravely wounded and elapsed while defending the princess. And thus, the Kingdom of Hyrule was devastated absolutely by Calamity Ganon. However, the princess survived to face Ganon alone. Link, you are our final hope. The fate of Hyrule rests with you. That princess was my own daughter. My dear Zelda. And the courageous knight who protected her right up to the very end. That knight was none other than you, Link. 
You fought valiantly when your fate took an unfortunate turn. And then, you were taken to the Shrine of Resurrection. Here you now stand, revitalized 100 years later. The words of guidance you have been hearing since your awakening are from Princess Zelda herself. Even now, as she works to restrain Ganon from within Hyrule Castle, she calls out for your help. However, my daughter's power will soon be exhausted. Once that happens, Ganon will freely regenerate himself, and nothing will stop him from consuming our land. Considering that I could not save my own kingdom, I have no right to ask this of you, Link. But I am powerless here. You must save her, my daughter, and do whatever it takes to annihilate Ganon. Somehow, Ganon has maintained control over all four divine beasts, as well as those guardians swarming around Hyrule Castle. I believe it would be quite reckless for you to head directly to the castle at this point. I suggest that you make your way east out to one of the villages in the wilderness. Follow the road out to Kakariko Village. There you will find the Elder Impa. She will tell you more about the path that lies ahead. Consult the map on your Shika Slate for the precise location of Kakariko Village. Make your way past the twin summits of the Dueling Peaks. From there, follow the road as it proceeds north. Hmm. Wow. What a story. That's crazy. I mean, Ganon basically destroyed the world. Wow. But for all of our efforts, we finally get the Paraglider, one of the most important items in the entire game. Press X while you're in the air to use it. Yeah, that's going to be important. We have completed the Isolated Plateau. And now the game really begins. All right. Well, thanks, King. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. And now we need to destroy Ganon. But, of course, since the world is in imminent peril, we should naturally go do side quests. And that's exactly what we're going to do. But what side quests await us? What other things can we do here on the Great Plateau? What does the rest of the world have for us? You have to wait till next time to find out. So then, this is BCS Buster signing off. Don't forget to like me on Facebook. Follow me on Twitter at BCS Buster LP. Check out my donations page. And as always, take care, y'all. The game has begun.